Hello. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to enter and run understory plot data in Silva 7. So already I've got Silva open, and uh, under the inventory entry tab, I'm just going to click over to stand and we'll just enter understory sample. And then for inventory settings, uh, we only need to worry about the understory crews. So we'll change crews type from size class counts to detailed counts. And again, this is for this particular example. We're going to leave plot size at six foot radius plots. And then for height class, we're going to change that to research height classes. And so that's all that we need to adjust in the inventory settings. And then again, since this is only understory data, we're just going to skip over to the understory plots. And uh, from this point, you're going to be working uh, in both uh, planes of the current screen. So there's the left half over here and then the right. Uh, so you'll start out by clicking Add, and you'll see this one column that has appeared. So this is going to be all of the data for your first inventory plot. Um, and then on the right side, you can click Add there, and you'll see that your first observation has appeared, uh, but its plot ID is still 1. Uh, so since this is just example data, uh, I've just uh, gathered and made up uh, a couple of entry points here. So for species, I'll enter uh, cob, and that is going to be for a common buckthorn. For count, I'll enter two. And then for height, uh, if you right click and look at variable description, uh, you can see that there are different height categories. Um, and this is going to be again for the research height classes. So for one, going to be less than two inches tall. For a two, that'll be two to six inches tall. Three, six inches to 12 inches, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, but just so you can get an idea of what uh, different height classes Silva is going to be looking for. Uh, and so I actually used that to influence what my tally sheet was going to look like. Uh, so for these understory plots, you're actually going to be collecting uh, data two different ways there's going to be a six foot radius plot that you're going to be counting all woody stems and I did that by species and then how many of those species were in different height classes but then you're also going to do a 20th acre plot or a 26.3 uh, radius foot radius plot and you're going to do uh, percent cover um, I actually did percent cover two different ways looking at what was just covering the ground and then what was in that first strata which uh, for our particular area, uh, I consider that to be about six to 20 or 30 feet. Uh, so these are the numbers that I'm gonna be entering uh, into Silva. And I also counted how many grapevines there were within the 26.3 foot radius plot. So now if I go back to Silva, uh, species, common buckthorn too, and that was in the two to six inch height area. So you can see that there. And again, I just clicked enter, but this is gonna be still for the first plot and a second observation. So I can enter the common buckthorn that I saw at a different height class. And then you'll wanna do this for all of the observations uh, that you make. And so once you've completed all of your woody stem counts, uh, you can go back to the left uh, and under your tall woody species, you'll want to say what was the most common uh, plant that was occupying uh, that space. So in this case, it was common buckthorn for low woody species as well. That's in terms of thinking of those two strata. And then this is for the percent cover. So if you saw any grass or sedge, even if it was just a small patch, you still should at least enter one. Same for ferns, low woody percent cover. I say 30%. And then how many grapevines did you see? Uh, for now, this example will just say one. And then there are additional uh, factors that you can look into and account for. I did not do this when I was inventorying uh, the side hill, but you can read these and see uh, what exactly they are. 
So now that I've completed the first plot, uh, you can add a second plot. So that when you go back to the right side and add, you'll see that the plot ID has changed to two and you're back to observation one. Again, I'll just add uh, some data in here. Just add uh, one more plot for this example. So we can see uh, different types of species. There's white oak, uh, dogwood, bush honeysuckle, sugar maple, uh, common buckthorn. Those are just uh, some of the things that you might see uh, over in the plot out on Mount Olympus. This example, just going to do three, uh, three plots. And once you've completed this, you can click on the analysis tab. Uh, be sure to save your SIL file. Use the current Kelk settings tab. I'm going to add the SIL file that I've now created. And under reports, again, you can click and select. And you can click run. You can open your text file, and it'll give you a count for how many stems per acre uh, from each of the species that you have entered within each of the different height classes. And so again, this is just one example of one of the outputs that you can ask for. Uh, but again, I hope this tutorial was helpful, and thanks for watching.